It's Umsum time! What if our eyes became huge in size? No need! Umsum already has huge eyes! Oh, Umsum. If our eyes became huge in size, we will now huh? need huge spectacles. Ophthalmologists, as in huh? people who specialize in treating <laughs> eye-related problems, may double their fees. Hmm. Husbands and wives may not recognize each other. Huh? Hmm. Some people may mistake in us for ghosts. Hmm. Our selfies may now look very weird. Huh? People who just got their portrait done will be extremely disappointed. Hmm. Our pet dogs may start barking at us. Huh? Hmm. We may now be able to see things from far, far away. Binoculars may not be needed anymore. Hmm. Cops will be able to catch thieves easily now. <laughs> huh? Hmm. Even aliens may start experimenting on their eyes. <laughs> hmm. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. Why do we get an eye spy? Huh? Cause you don't wear cool shades. <laughs> no. Eye sty or hordeolum is a painful pimple-like bump huh? near our eyelids. It is caused due to Staphylococcus bacterium, which lives harmlessly <laughs> on our skin. Now, our eyelids contain three glands called gland of Zeiss, gland of Moll, and meibomian gland. Gland of Zeiss secretes an oily substance to lubricate our eyelashes. Gland of Moll is a sweat gland. While my Bomian gland prevents ah. the evaporation of our eye's tear film. Now, sometimes huh? in the above glands, dead skin oh. cells and bacteria get trapped, leading to an infection, thus giving rise to a sty. Now, if infection occurs in the glands of Zeiss or Mull, it is called an external sty. However, if the infection occurs in my Bomian gland, it is called an internal sty. Also, huh? As an internal sty presses oh. against our eye, it proves to be more painful than an external sty. Hmm. Why do our eyes get dry? Not my eyes. They have a bath every day. Oh, um some. Dry eye is a condition in which our eyes lack the tears necessary to nourish or lubricate them. Hmm. Most common causes of dry eyes are, firstly, decrease in the amount of tears produced by one's eyes. This may be caused due to aging, certain medications, inflammation of our tear glands, etc. Secondly, increase in the evaporation of tears from one's eyes. This may be caused due to dry air or wind. Also performing certain activities which require higher concentration oh. like sitting in front of the computer or reading books may reduce the frequency of our eye blinking and thus lead to increased evaporation oh. of our tears. Mm. Lastly, our tears are mostly composed of water, oil, mucus, antibodies and special proteins. Imbalance in the composition of these may lead to dry eyes. Mm. Is rubbing your eyes good or bad? Hmm, good. No bad. Um, maybe both. Oh, um some. We usually rub our eyes due to lack of sleep, or to remove <gasps> dust, irritants, etc. Now, sometimes rubbing our eyes for brief periods can be good because it activates the release of tears which lubricate our eyes. Rubbing even stimulates the vagus nerve which in turn slows down our heartbeat, huh? helping relieve ah. stress. However, don't make it a habit. Firstly, continuous rubbing can cause the outer layer of our eyes called cornea to get thin, weak, and conical in shape, causing a disease known as keratoconus, uh -huh. thus leading to distorted vision. Oh. Ah. Secondly, hmm. if there is an irritant and we try to remove it by rubbing, that irritant can end up scratching our cornea. Lastly, if people with glaucoma rub their eyes, it can lead to extra increase in fluid pressure, further damaging the optic nerve, 
eventually leading to blindness. Hmm. Why do we have different eye colors? So that we can produce different colored eye lasers. <laughs> no. Colored part of the eye is called iris. Iris contains a pigment called melanin. Melanin is of two types, pheomelanin ah. and eumelanin. Ah. The color of our eyes is dependent on the amount and type of melanin produced. Hmm. If we have more melanin with higher concentration of eumelanin, then we will have darker eye color such as brown. However, if we have less melanin with higher concentration of pheomelanin, then we will probably have blue or green eyes. Hmm. Now, according to a study, the amount and type of melanin produced in our eyes is mainly determined by two genes, OCA2 and HERC2 present on chromosome 15. Since these genes are inherited from our parents, we will probably have an eye color similar to our parents. But note that sometimes, certain mutations in the genes can produce different eye colors. Hmm. Why did pirates huh? wear eye patches? To show off! <laughs> <laughs> no! Huh? When light coming from an object oh. reaches our eyes, it passes through a hole called pupil. When it is too bright, the size of pupil decreases, oh. allowing less light to enter into our eyes. When it is dark, the size of pupil increases, allowing more light to enter into our eyes, thus helping us see better <laughs> in dark. Hmm. However, huh? if we suddenly move from a bright room to a dark room, our eyes take some time to oh. adapt to the darkness. Hence, a pirate wore an eye patch over a single eye so that <laughs> that eye can get adapted to darkness. Oh. Now, while fighting in case the pirate had to go under the deck where it is quite dark, he just removed the patch from the covered eye which was already adapted to darkness, helping the pirate to immediately see in the dark. <laughs> hmm. Why do huh? animals' eyes glow in the dark? Because they have hidden torches. <laughs> nah. Wait, uh -huh. I'll explain. Our eyes have a layer called retina, huh? which is made up of photoreceptors. When light enters our eyes, it hits the photoreceptors. Photoreceptors detect light, thus making it possible to see. <laughs> hmm. However, the light oh. which doesn't hit the photoreceptors remains undetected. Oh, poor undetected light. Now, nocturnal animals like owls need to see better oh. during the night. Hmm. Hence, their eyes have another layer below the retina called tapetum lucidum. Now, when light doesn't hit oh. the photoreceptors, it reaches the tapetum lucidum. This layer acts like a huh? mirror. It reflects light back <laughs> onto the photoreceptors, thus giving them a second chance to detect light. Some of this reflected light also uh -huh. comes out of the animal's eyes, thus making it seem that its oh. eyes are glowing. <laughs> Why do your eyes turn red in the pool? Ha! It is because of chlorine. Chlorine is not the main reason for this. Uh, chlorine is added uh, to water of swimming pools because it is a disinfectant. It helps kill germs, thus keeping water germ-free. In fact, the main reason for our eyes to turn red is the uh, presence of our bodily fluids like urine and sweat <laughs> in the pool. Ew! Urine and sweat contain nitrogenous compounds like urea. Urea reacts with the chlorine present in water, forming chloramines. Now, if we regularly clean the swimming pool, then we can prevent the production of chloramines. But if the pools are not cleaned, then the chloramines formed can irritate our eyes, thus making them red. In addition to this, chloramines can evaporate from water. Inhaling these chloramines for a long period can result in coughing, <coughs> asthma, and other health problems. Hmm. Topic human eyes. What are eye floaters? Huh? They are worms. <laughs> no. Eye floaters are tiny spots or thread-like strands that drift in our field of vision. When we move our eyes and try to look at them huh? directly, they seem to dart away. Yeah, dude. I think they try to hide. <laughs> nah. Huh? Oh. When light from an object enters into our eyes, it passes through the vitreous humor to form an image on the retina. Hmm. Vitreous humor is a clear gel-like substance. <laughs> 
It is 99% water and 1% oh. collagen fibers. These collagen fibers are spread evenly throughout the vitreous humor, but sometimes these fibers tend to come together forming clumps or strands. When we look at a clear sky or a blank page and the clumps or strands are very close to the retina, they cast a strong oh. shadow on the retina, making them easily detectable in the clear background and thus forming eye floaters. Ha <laughs> ha!